Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to a rather different for once episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. There was a TikTok celebrity who had Quran playing in the background and with her friend she was dancing. As expected there was crazy outrage on this as they should be. But with the people that did inform her she did realize what she'd done and then she apologized. I am truly and deeply sorry to those that I have hurt and offended. I love all people whatever religion, race, shapes and sizes. I saw a video of a cute older man and decided to use the audio and if I had known that it was something so sacred I would have never used it. Logically sounds good and a story right? Wrongo! For some people unfortunately and sadly it still wasn't enough. Now let's try and figure out why. There were two possible intentions by which she would have done it. Number one deliberate, number two by mistake. If it was deliberate she wouldn't have apologized. If it was accidental uh, she would have apologized. I am truly and deeply sorry to those that I have hurt and offended. And anytime these things happen guys we got to ask ourselves why? Why has a person done this? If you are not in a habit of asking yourself this you are going to mess up the situation. In pretty much the last video and the video before I've been promoting a psychological principle called the fundamental attribution error which if I was to summarize very basically means when it comes to a mistake that you've made you blame it on circumstance, you blame it on something external like if you come late you blame it on the traffic lights, you blame it on your alarm clock but when it comes to someone else you blame it on something internal, something deep rooted you say this person is a lazy lazy person, they're careless, they don't care you won't explore why that may have happened you're very quick to judge. If we do not get into a habit of, of not doing this then what's going to happen is it's going to spoil intimate relations of ours. For example when you get married yeah there's, there's going to be serious issues because you're not going to last very long in your marriage because you're going to be very quick, very quick now you are like this or you are like that therefore we can't be together bang done in the cab. However if you understand this principle and you're used to asking why, digging deep and trying to correct things you're more likely to be committed within a job, within education, within relationships and your friendships you're going to lead a more fruitful life. So we're doing the same here yeah we've looked what could the two possibilities be? The first possibility obviously accidental that's why she's apologized. The second thing is People assumed, let's just say for argument's sake she did know it was the Quran. She didn't but let's just say she did. You're assuming that she understands the value of the Quran, she's been educated and that's where your error is because not everyone is educated about the value of the Quran. And thirdly let's just say whatever happened yeah now you're writing her a message. Ask yourself what is the intention behind my comment? or my message? Is it to tell her you know to put her down or to show her who's boss? Where's that coming from? Oh I'm doing it so Allah will be happy with me. Really? What makes you say that? Because the last time Allah asked or one of the instances where Allah has asked one of his prophets to deliver a message it was Musa alayhi salam and he was told when he was going to the Pharaoh the one who said Ana ala. I am your Lord most high. Allah asked Musa alayhi salam you know speak to him softly and with kindness and this is the same Lord that you're saying you're trying to please? Nah mate it just doesn't work. In fact what you're now doing is you're putting the person off, you're putting them off the religion. You're saying it's about peace whilst uppercutting them at the same time. It's contradictory mate. So what you need to do is you make sure your comment reflects your beliefs and ideals and at the end have a call to action. They have this in 
you know, leaflets and adverts, you need a call to action. My mate, Way of Life SQ, he realized what she did and he gave her a call to action, said, look, maybe you don't understand the Quran, let me send you a Quran. And then she messaged back saying, I appreciate that and I'll take you up on that offer. This is a constructive comment. And you might be saying, oh, these people are bad, these people are this. Maybe, now they are. But you don't know what on earth these people are going to be like in 10 years time. It's like a famous saying, some people that have the worst pasts make the best futures. They just need to be nurtured. Yeah, they may be ignorant and who can blame them with this media, you know, bombarding people with this warped version of Islam. So we need to be those people who show people the reality of Islam. No, don't just write a comment just for the sake of it. If you don't have anything useful to say, shut it mate, zip it, you know what I'm saying? So realize and ask yourself, are you in a bad mood? Have you had a bad day? Don't comment, don't comment on these videos. You know what I'm saying? Because your comment could have a lasting effect and you're going to have to give an account on the Day of Judgment. Yeah? Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there and until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. <laughs>